In this tutorial, I'd like to show you how can we import any map from Google Earth into Blender. So this method is working 100%. You're not going to have any trouble with compatibility if you follow the exact same steps. All right, so let's get down to it. All right, so to import our map, we're going to need three softwares. We need Google Chrome, Render Dock, and Blender 2.9. So you might ask why Blender 2.9 and not the latest version? because 2.9 is 100% compatible with render dock. So in the description, you're going to find access to all these files, to all these softwares. So first we need to install the render dock program. So let's double click on it and let's go ahead and install it. So just next, accept next. So just the typical install. Yes. All right. So it's done. So the next step is going to be to work with the Google Chrome program. So I'd like to go where it's installed. So I have it on the local disk C. So double click here. Let's go to program files, Google and Chrome and application. So this is the, the program. So what I'd like to do is to create a shortcut. So let's right click here and let's go to create a shortcut and let's click on yes. So it's going to be placed on our desktop. So this is our shortcut. So what I'd like to do is this. I'm going to press right click and let's go to properties. And under this shortcut, we need to change the target, this target value, this text that we got here. So I want you to go to this debugging code file and let's copy the same line that we got. So basically we need to run our Google Chrome program in the CMD mode. So I'm going to just copy this line here. Let's copy it and let's go to our properties. So in the target, I'm going to just delete this target and let's paste this line. All right. So next let's click on apply and we can OK that. So the Google Chrome shortcut is going to look like this. It's going to look like if it's run on the CMD. So let's double click on it. And this is what you're going to have. You're going to have this blank window with this code here, 1504, this PID number. All right. So the next step is going to be to go to the render doc. So let's run our render doc program, this one. And what we need to do is to go to file and let's inject into process. We can click here. All right, we're good to go. So next, what we need to do is to place or to type this number, which is 1504. We need to search for it here. Filter process list by PID or name. So let's search for it. So 1504 and 100% you're going to find it here. So double click on it. And now we're good to go. So all you have to do is to just click on OK so that we can run our Google Chrome uh, shortcut. All right, so now we need to search for the Google Earth. So let's search for it. So Google Earth. And let's search for our map that we want to export. All right, so I'd like to pick a map from New York. So let me just zoom in here a little bit and let me just find the best map. So also keep in mind that the map that you need to import must be supporting 3D. It must be look like this 3D geometry. So you can do that by clicking here on the 3D like this so that you can see that. So there we go. So it's looking like a 3D map. So I'd like to go to here to the top can scroll back just a little bit, for example, this portion here. And let's go to our render dock and we need to make it ready. So we can capture frame immediately, but I prefer to capture frame after delay. So let me just increase that count to, for example, five seconds or yeah, five seconds is going to be fine. So let's capture. We can click on it, capture after delay. And let's go back here and we can start wiggling just a little bit our window, something like this. So now it's captured. If you're seeing that lagging, it means that our window is captured. All right, so let's go back to our render dock and let's take a look at it. So this is the, the file that we got. So I'm going to just double click on it. And basically it's working. So if you are seeing this color pass number one, two, three, and four, it means that it's okay. But if you're only seeing these two color passes, so it's not a good import. So what you need to do is to repeat, you can repeat the same process. You can just go back here. You can zoom back a little bit or zoom in. So I'm lucky a little bit. I got it on the first time. So this is not the case every time. So just keep in mind, you can just repeat the same steps and you're going to be good to go. All right. So next, what you need to do is to export this file into our desktop. So let's go to file and let's save capture as I'd like to save it in my desktop. So let's call it New York. All right, so let's go to our desktop to check. So we got it. We got this RDC format file. So now we need to import it into Blender. So I'd like to go to Blender 2.9, this version. Also, you're going to find the link to download it down below. And I'd like to delete everything. 
So the first step, we need to install an add-on that's going to allow us to import this kind of formats, this RDC format. So let's go back here. I'd like to go to Edit, Preferences, and under the Add-ons tab, I want you to click on Install. And let's go to Desktop Resources folder. So this add-on. So you're going to find also the link to download it down below. So double click on it and we can search here for map gonna find this export import maps models importer so i want you to check this box that we got here so that we can make sure that our add-on is activated and once you do that all you have to do is to just go to file import and let's import You're gonna find this new format google maps capture so let's just click on it and let's pick that rdc format so let's double click on it here you can just wait a little bit until it's imported because it has a lot of files gonna see that all right so we got our map imported successfully but as you can see it's a little bit messy so what I'd like to do is to press Z and let's switch to the material preview so that we can see which one we need so as you can see the surrounding it's not in high quality so we can just select them and click on the delete so that we can delete these maps don't need them excellent so the last trick that I would like to show you is to how to make this ocean a little bit better so I'm going to select, for example, this unit right here. And let me just expand the bottom window like this. And we need to switch to the shader editor from here. So you're going to find this node setup. We're going to find, let me just press control space to maximize this. So we're going to have the principal BSDF and we're going to have this texture connected to the base color. So what I want you to do is to decrease this roughness to zero. And we can increase, for example, the metallic to something like 0.4. Let me just control space to go back to see how it's gonna look like so basically it's duplicated so let me just delete gonna press h to hide this one and let's delete this x remove it alt h to bring the old one so now as you can see it's a little bit glossy it's gonna have the reflection of these buildings but what we can do is to scale it up so on the edit mode let me select this object on the edit mode i'd like to scale it real up to cover the entire space and i'm gonna type gz to go down you can press shift to slow down that movement something like this and also we can lift up the map from this side for example let me just take it up from here gz let's go up just a little bit like this same thing for example let me just find a better point this point for example so gz stick it up something like this is gonna be fine okay so let's switch to the rendered all right, so the next step, we need to add some kind of waves to this ocean material. So right here, I'm going to type Shift A and let's search for a noise texture. So I'd like to connect this noise texture to a bump node. So Shift A, let's search for a bump node. And let's connect the factor to the height and the normal to the normal. All right, so this is how it looks like. So what we need to do is to increase the scale to, for example, 100 for the noise texture. And for the strength, we need to reduce it down to something like 0.1 or even down 0.05, something like this. Also, let's can increase the scale to, let's try 250. And now it looks pretty much good. So as you can see, we got our map exported and it's looking exactly the same as the one that we got in our Google Earth. So you can just go ahead and use it in your own project. So if you have any questions, let me know. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you in future projects. Take care.